I'm going to use the visual scripting tool with the new input system to move my simple tank around. Now this is a multi going to be a multiplayer game, but I want to use visual scripting to help move this along. Make sure you pay the class fee of a like or subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more tutorials on using visual scripting inside of Unity. First thing we need to do if you haven't already is go to your window package manager and make sure that you do have the input system installed. As you can see, I've got in my project, input system is installed. If you haven't already done that, you can go to your Unity registry, search for it, and install it. But if you're this far along in the in the process, you probably already know how to do this. The project should be set to either input system or both for your inputs on the system. I've got my basic player set up and selected. As you can see, it's got a box collider, a character controller. Let's go ahead and add the player input component. And I do need to create the actions for that. Now for this, we can use the default action. So I'm going to click on create actions and just simply call this my player for my scripting. And we'll save that. By default, we've got move, look, and fire. In this tutorial, I'm only going to use move and look to set up for my tank. So that's now all there. Let's then, next, let's go ahead and add our visual script to this. So I'm going to go ahead and add component. And this is going to be for our visual script. So we'll do a script. We're going to use the script machine. And it's going. we're going to use the script graph for this. It doesn't have anything there yet. Let's create a new one. And this again, I'm going to just simply name this player movement. Okay, that's now created. We can now do an edit graph. We will not be using on start or update on this, so we can get rid of that. And I'm going to use two variables with this. The first one is going to be the movement speed or move speed so that I can control how fast it's interacting inside the environment. Let's make sure that's a float. And we're going to set the default value to 0.5. Let's add a second variable. This one's going to be called sensitivity for our mouse look around. I found that the default sensitivity is probably a little overkill. So let's let's do that. And again, I'm going to set that to 0.5 and that should get us ready to go. So now we're ready to go ahead and add our script. First thing we need to do is an on input system. Since we're using the input system, it's best to use an input system. And this is going to be vector 2 because it's only moving around in two dimensions. Uh, we're going to select the move, which was created with my input system control. So it's already configured there. We're going to use move. And we're going to get the vector 3x. Good. And we also need to get vector 3y. So let's get y, vector 3, and then we're going to transform. So let's go over here. And this is going to translate or move my, my tank around the scene. So we're going to do a simple XYZ on this. And we'll set the Z axis to Z or the Y to Z axis because Y is actually up. So we want Y to actually move it left or right in this case. So and then we need to connect that. Now this is almost done. Um, th this will work at this point. Let's go ahead and test it. Jump over to our game. And if you press the W key, you'll move up a key left and right. It will automatically accommodate game pads or uh, anything else that is by default in the player input um, action set. So we'll stop that. Let's jump back to our script graph and let's go ahead and add looking, being able to look around. So right click again um, on input system again and exactly the same as what we have up above. I'm going to set that down here. This time we're look, using the look input action. And we only need to get an X for this because we only are only interested interested in the X movement of the mouse. 
So get x, and let's output that then to my transform rotate. And we're going to use the x, y, and z angles. By default, that go, should go to the y. So let's close that. Right click on it to get rid of a connection that you don't want. And then give it the flow. Again, run this. And now with my mouse, and it will move in the direction that it is rotated, that is now forward, we're able to control the tank very easily. Let's jump back to script graph. Now, as you can see, I did create a couple of variables here. I've got my move speed and my sensitivity, which we created at the beginning. Let's go ahead and use those to uh, affect the tank's movement. So I'm going to add a basic move speed to this. So I'm going to drag that into there. Now I've got my move speed. It will automatically take the variable for this. And we're going to use multiply. So we're going to add a node for multiply. And we'll pull the x in, the y, the variable, and apply that to x. We can duplicate this. So I'll copy it and paste a new one. And x y and post that to z. Now that's going to slow my tank movement down a little bit. Of course you can adjust the value to anything you want. I can do the exact same thing here with my look around so we can adjust the mouse sensitivity so it doesn't move quite so fast. Again we can use the multiply in that regard. So right click to get rid of that and apply it to the wide angle the Y angle again. Run. And now we're moving a little slower in the environment, so we're easily able to control that. Make sure you follow if you're wanting to see more action, more tools on how to use visual scripting inside of Unity. We've got a lot of new textbooks and a lot of new tutorials coming on the Unity and the Unreal Engine.